hello everyone this is uh, Muhammad from uh, MBM channel today we're gonna speak about uh, the FPV uh, we have some kind of FPV the one uh, which is uh, which is came with uh, with the uh, 600 megawatt I did the first video uh, but uh, unfortunately it was an Arabic version but uh, when I saw so many uh, comments they told me to make it in English I will try to speak in English today uh, this setup this kind of FPV it have some kind of problem problem uh, the one of it it was uh, it was the the heat is getting uh, too hot so sometimes it's hanging sometimes it's stopping sending the image so I decided to to put some kind of of aluminium on the top and uh, put uh, in uh, some places some kind of uh, thermal paste uh, you can see the first part of this video it's available in the link below so if you can just follow the video uh, and don't mind if you didn't understand that language uh, I mean Arabic language so the the video it will be very easy for you and I add uh, this uh, this little box it's uh, it's came with the with like this so I made it inside and you, like you see here you, I can I can adjust the frequency and I can adjust the channels so and it's easy to close it to close it and I put this car, this wire here as you can see it's it's coming uh, I put some kind of hole just to to make the the air uh, going inside and to make it more more uh, more uh, more cold and uh, easy to 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 put it under of your your uh, your uh, aircraft it doesn't matter if it was if is it like uh, if is it quadcopter tricopter uh, anything you can put it so in this video i will show you guys how you can uh, put uh, set up or or install it or uh, or uh, configure it to to the monitor. I use the kind of cheap monitor. It's uh, it's it's a monitor. Actually, it's this monitor. It's for a car. So I I just I just uh, changed something inside some wires. It's very easy. It's not it's not it's not a big de deal. I change it and I open this area. I have a video if you like people I can put it for you the video and they put here some uh, here you have the input voltage input here you have video output so I have two video output first and second and here I have voltage uh, output this is the same the same voltage go, going in from here it will go out from here so if you put here 12 volts it will go out from here 12 volts so I just put it here if if I have something else to to run it with the, with my battery so I can run it here in this place I use my my battery this is my my own battery I'm the one made in this battery if you want people also uh, to know how I can how I made this battery you can just uh, leave your comments so I will show you how to make a battery this is not actually it's wrong here it's not 3.7 volt actually it have three cell uh, three cell two with the parallel and the, the last one it's a uh, it's a uh, serial so it's giving me like eight point something volt and it's it's really it's really perfect I made it for my my old my old quad capter it was uh, the the one with the brush brushlet motors and it was running perfectly actually I made two I'm gonna show you the other battery here so I have this also this battery here the same setup I will show you people how you can run it so here I use it for this FPV setup so I will show you how you can you can run it so as you can see here I have input voltage so it's running and it's coming here and this is output video so it's going to the trunk the, to the receiver my receiver here sorry people because the I have it just a small area to record so this this 32 32 um, uh, receiver so here is the the video out 
coming from from the screen going to the to the to the uh, going to the receiver and I put it here and here I have the power 12 volt actually it's not 12 volt it's all 12 volt it's only 8 point something volt but it's running very well and here as you can see I can just power it like this I have them I made here uh, this is the battery this is the battery coming from here so I meet this connection here so I just put this wire here sorry it's very hard to as you can see here always as you can see plus to plus and minus to minus and as, as you can see the the TV is working well and here I will show I will tell you about the, the antennas actually you have two antennas here as you can see here you have RX and here TX it what which means the R the RX it mean uh, receiver and T it means uh, transmitter so here I will put the, the I will put the receiver to the receiver the difference between the two antennas it's it's really it's really a big different if we open it we will find the different this one it have four four uh, four wires here and here just just three wires I I will see if I can open it and show you people as you can see this is the transmitter it have three of this one two and three and the the the, the the receiver it's it has four so the different this is only the difference between between the two the two antennas you have the, the receiver and the, you have the receiver and the transmitter and make sure to make to to put it in the proper way so you can you will have the the properly uh, range for your transmitter and your receiver i will I will put the receiver the, the antenna for the transmitter as you can see that's it it's really easy and I will put the transmitter to the transmitter to the transmitter video transmitter just try to put it properly and to close it well As you can see, it's really easy. I will remove this until we will finish with this setup. Then we can move to the screen and we will see the relationship between this and that. Here I'm using just the the battery of I used the, I use this. Here I'm just using the battery for for the the same battery that I'm using but here when I put it in under of my quad capture I'm just use it directly to the quad capture so I'm using the power of my 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 main uh, main battery so it's it's okay so for this I will just use the the battery just to show you people how don't worry about what is this I can explain it for the next video if you want people I will just connect the plus to the plus and the minus to the minus and then here I have this special uh, cable it, it you can buy it from the internet from eBay from the Amazon it's it's uh, it's available there this this uh, this wire is actually for this camera this kind of camera is GS 4000 uh, to have the the TV out so uh, you can have the TV out from this camera and you can use it also as a as a uh, you can use it as a FPV camera so I will just turn it on and you, as you can see it's on now and I will put the cable and if you want to people this cable to show you how to to make your own cable uh, if uh, uh, video out cable I will show you and about this little piece here it's working like a filter if you have another frequency around you another another people are playing the same game around you so this one it will filter and it will give you better quality uh, normally we put in one in the transmitter and the other one in the receiver so you can put two 
it's really easy you can get them for example I would give you an idea if you have any kind of camera or uh, this camera it's it's a CCTV camera so you can use it also it's it was here in this place and as you can see this the cables they twisted the cable so also it's playing a big a big role to filter the image to the uh, to the to the receiver so when you twist the cable always try to twist your cables so like this you will have a better better quality going back to the transmitter so here I will I will just just put my mini USB into the mini USB port and then I will I will just go to the C thing I don't know if you can see I will just you can go just to the C thing and then you go up to the TV out mode TV out mode okay and then turn it on okay that's it you have now a TV out go into your receiver I already received the image to the to the camera and as you can see I will adjust my camera to have a better view as you can see this is the this is the money this is the camera and this is the transmitter and nothing hanging only the only the, the battery as you can see the battery the camera and it's really good quality this even it have this kind of problem that it's getting very very hot I I just getting away from this problem using this kind of aluminium and put it inside of this box putting this those those uh, this hole here so it's it's working well so people if you want anything to understand about the FPV if you want to know uh, more about the the frequencies if you want to know more about how to create your own antenna if you want to know how to create your your own battery yeah, this is just for a small quad capture battery you can also have it for the bigger 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 uh, I mean bigger battery you can use it for your for your uh, DJI, for your uh, tricopter, quadcopter, anything, it's running with the battery. Uh, I will show you how you can make your battery, your own battery. It's it's really cheap, and it w you you can have more. Yeah, I mean more more uh, more power to your quadcopter using your own battery like this. So people, thank you for watching, and see you in, see you in the next video. Uh, I hope that you would leave uh, some comment. This is my first video in English. All my videos was in Arabic, and uh, the people even they're watching my video. They're not uh, they just they leave in their comment. They say even it's Arabic. So I'm trying to give. If it's, it was in Arabic, I'm trying to give more images, more more um, uh, speaking with the with my body, so that other people they can understand. I use the titles always in English. Uh, thank you if you want more pe more videos in English so just leave your comment thank you for watching Mohammed for MBM1 thank you and see you next time thank you